If you Google what is the most paying job in the world, you will find lots of results with different professions from every area. But what you'll also see is that most of the time, the list will contain not one, not two, but several jobs in the IT world, so to speak. And even though I am sort of suspicious about this type of research, because there are lots of factors that we need to consider from experience to the area the person works in, it is undeniable that software engineers years are seen as professionals who make a lot of money compared to the rest of the population in the US for example software engineers make about 24% more than the average income and when you do the same research in another countries for example Brazil this number is even more significant with software engineers making about 303% more than the average Brazilian income and even if you start at a low income, the salary potential for this area is huge. So why exactly is that? So I dug deeper to understand what is the key factor and if it even exists that influences software engineers to make a lot. So the first and lazy answer that comes to our mind is supply and demand. If people need something a lot and there are few of this Thing, the price to acquire it goes up, of course. And as we know, technology is everywhere. So that would have to be the main reason, right? Well, there is a reason why I said this is a lazy answer. There is a little more to that logic that answers this question. First of all, how come different professionals receive different salaries? Your salary is just the price of labor. So like all prices, it is set by supply and demand. Employer your demand depends on how much value the job creates and supply depends on lots of factors but mainly in skill how many people can do the job not only depending on how many people can do the job but how many people can do the job well but like I said, supply and demand is a lazy way to explain it, right? Yes, it is. And you may have heard of so many articles how IT workers in the future will be hard to find. So what we can see here is that technology has evolved so fast that the amount of people skilled enough to do the job in the IT field is not keeping up with it. So what exists today in the market is a lack of talented professionals. It's just not possible for someone who did a three-month boot camp where they learned a couple technology stack to get and keep a job without having the basics of computer science and data structure. It's just not possible. And if there are people who did it, it's because they not only did the boot camp, they also have the knowledge, the technical knowledge and the computer science fundamentals to do so. So as I said, there is a lack of qualified professionals in the market today and there aren't many of them. So that's why they're valued. But there is also one thing that software companies have in common that contributes to the high price of software engineers. They make a lot of money. The magic in the IT world and in programming in general is that you can reach millions of people by writing simple lines of code. The output of the code you're writing will eventually help other people by using your platform or etc. And people are willing to pay for this. So software companies, good software companies that see software engineers as an investment, pay them a lot because they generate so much value. And of course, I'm saying this in, in a very didactic way, but if you could pay someone $20,000, for developing an application that will generate you millions per year, you of course would if you had the asset to do, if you had the resource and companies do have this resource. When they see the software as their product, the thing that will bring more customers, of course, the software has to be good quality. So that is the main reason why software engineers are so valued in today's society. They play an important role developing quality applications that will be later used by millions of people. But is it any fair that software engineers make all of this money? Well, I think that is a very innocent question because it is based on the principle that because you work hard, you deserve to be fairly compensated, which is 
somewhat true but the work you do is not going to be compensated by how hard you work but of how many people find that valuable you can spend years making mud dolls if no one finds it valuable no one is going to pay you to do this it generates value to no one and well it is just a wait a waste of time so there is a huge demand nowadays for software applications from artificial intelligence mobile apps websites big data development operations so at the end of the day that's why that's also a key factor to why these professionals are so valued it won't shock me if in the future kids will be taught coding and programming skills at school. It will probably in a near future become a mandatory subject for people to learn. Not because someone is telling you to do it and that you should do it, but it's just what our society is walking towards.